So you, you've seen the progression of the events from the very beginning to this point where we have seen two letters, one from the Ministry of Health requesting a refund of money and another from the Sheikh's office um, accepting that a refund will be made. What's your assessment of the issues that have petered out so far? Uh, you see, when, when this thing came out and uh, everybody was jumping to the defense of the minister, I put on my Facebook page that there is a particular institution that should be having the relevant information about this uh, transaction. Not, not every government official should be coming out to defend these things. See, they, they, somebody initiated the transaction. Somebody initiated the request for payment for the money. That person should be the one to tell Parliament that, yes, I requested and that I have followed up and found out that the money has been paid. For the minister to say in Parliament that he is not aware that the money has been paid, I see saying that he and his, uh, he and his uh, director are not in tune with how things are happening in the department, I mean, in the ministry. Can the minister of finance just go ahead and pay money without getting instructions from the, the minister of health? So it appears initially there were attempts to try to, to suppress the truth. But with the pressures mounting on the minister and the ministry, they are now coming out to expose these things. And I think if you appear before a committee and speak on oath that what you are going to say is true and that it is the, the, it's only the truth that you are going to say, if it turns out that you did not speak the truth, that is enough for you to be sanctioned for that. Okay, now, um, so what you are saying is that it's your suspicion that the health minister did not say the truth when he went before the committee. Either that, or there's a, there's a, a serious disconnect between the minister and his chief director, and even the minister of uh, finance. Okay. And we don't expect that to happen among government institutions. So l let's take that scenario. Um, since it's possible. If it is possible indeed that the minister went to the committee from 16th to 20th of July and said to the best of his knowledge, no money had been paid. Now, on the 21st of July, his head of legal had written an email to request for refund of the monies, right? And then on the 3rd of August, the minister wrote back to the committee to say that the monies had been paid. Uh, he's, he's been made aware that monies had been paid. If this is the case, even if the minister was indeed not aware, is it not grounds enough for sanctioning, considering the fact that there has been negligence to the extent that a letter, monies have been paid, a request has been made for refund, and then the minister becomes aware? Is that not enough grounds for sanction on this point? That is enough grounds for sanctions. But of course, we are assuming uh, that there's no attempt to undermine the minister. It is possible that some people in the ministry are doing things without the knowledge of the minister. And so much as we think that, we, that the minister should be sanctioned, if he can prove that certain things took place behind him, his back, then those people who were engaged in such transactions should also be brought to book. But of course, at the end of the day, the minister is the, the, the overall head of the ministry and he should be responsible. It's now left to him to do to take action on the subordinates that probably try to undermine if that was the situation. But for now, let's say that the minister did not tell the truth to Parliament. And so he's subject to uh, some sanctions. Why do you lean towards that conclusion, Mr. Azim? Pardon? Why, why should we say that he did not tell the truth? I mean, playing the devil's advocate, why do we lean towards that conclusion that he did not tell the truth to Parliament? Because he has not written a letter asking for the refund of the money. When did it come to his attention that the monies were paid? Did he check to find out who, is struck, who requested for the payment to be made? What, what action has he taken against that person who instructed us for the payment to be made without his knowledge, without his authority? Hmm.